Hello YouTube, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Aqua's Won't Stop, Can't Stop following Yashua HaMashiach channel. I am not trying to be powerful or override Elohim or Yashua HaMashiach. I am following the Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, into helping other souls come out of the light I mean come out of darkness I'm sorry come out of darkness just as well as Elohim Yahshua HaMashiach pulled me out of darkness so I'm not up here to condemn judge I, I don't even I can't even stand a judgmental person I can't even stand and I'm not saying person as the soul that spiritual being that is flowing through that soul. See, that dark being that's flowing through their soul makes them have the personality and the characteristics of a demon. When you do things that is against the commandment, and we all have, we all have, we all have carried demons, some still carrying demons, the ones that's been pulled out of light, we have to repent and pray every day just as well. So we will not go back on that broad road, period. That is just completely it. We have to stand strong in the faith. We have to stand strong in the faith. Yes, the flesh is gonna war against the spirit because if you've been feeding your flesh, which we all have, sin on a regular basis, and when you come out and try to walk with Yahshua HaMashiach, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, guess what? Satan is going to bring undesirable cravings that the flesh is going to war against your walk with Yahshua HaMashiach. He's just going to do it. And he's going to use other dark souls to do that. Some people is not going to make it. Some and it's so sad to say this. Some people is not going to make it into the eternal life, eternity. Some folks is not, many folks is not. Because a lot of people is just content of being in darkness. It, that's it. But prayer can change all things. When people say, oh, they ain't going to change. They're going to stay the same. Can't nothing make them change, honey. Don't underestimate the living God because he can change anything. He can change any situation. He can change whatever he want to be changed. He can do whatever he wants to do. But our father, he gives us a choice. When he called me, I couldn't reject the call. But the way he, he called me, I couldn't reject the way he called me. I knew it was something greater. I knew it was a living God, the way the Holy Spirit addressed me. And it wasn't nothing like I've seen it on the news. It was, it is a really living God. Just, just keep it there. I, I just got to keep it there because when I get on live, I explain everything that happened to me. And when I tell you that from that day forth, I feared the living God. I serve him with fear and trembling. I fear him on a daily. When I wake up, I asked him, little father, please forgive me for everything I did in my life. Please forgive me, father, for all I've done. Please, I repent. I repent on a daily. I repent in, when I go to bed. I repent when I wake up. Because there is a true living God, regardless if you got scoffers or not, they tell you it is not so. And the only reason why they're saying it's not so, because they have not even tried to encounter, not even tried to seek, not even tried to be obedient to the Almighty Father. They allow Satan come on in, use them to do whatever they feel that is negative towards any other soul their hearts is like an ice cube that's just constantly in the freezer they don't want to melt period 
They got these giant egos like they can never be deflated. They got this pride. That pride is so bad that you just don't even want to be around them because they think they're better than everybody in the world. Noah. 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 Demons are like an irritating sock. When you put on a sock and it just keep, when you start walking, it just come on down in your shoe. You got to take your shoe off and pull it back up. Then you start walking again. Then the sock come on down in your shoe. Then you got to pull it back up again. And why I say a sock? Because I just want to constantly step on his face in the spiritual realm. Every day I wake up, I tell him, you got to wake up too. He will put you through. I mean, hell and high waters. You will think you in hell when he finished with you because he can bring some awful things through souls, manipulating. And if the manipulating game don't work, they'll start calling you names. They'll start making you feel like you ain't it. Then they'll start using you as a sex slave. They'll start using you as a worker. See how Satan works. He wants, he gets you to take care of those souls while they give you, I mean, dark advice, tear you down, lift you up a little, tear you back down, lift you up a little, tear you back down. And before you know it, your whole house is in a uh, uproar. You thought a whole tornado came in there in the spiritual realm because someone in the home got to be strong. If you're a single mother with children, you got to be grounded and rooted in the word of God. That's the only way your home is going to come in place. That's the only way you're going to re re back arrange your rearranged furniture. Because you got to go on your knees in your secret closet and put prayer in, put fasting in. Because you're not going to be able to be around your children 24-7 because you got to work. You got to put food on the table for these children. But prayer changed everything. You got to get on your knees. You got to fast. You got to pray. You got to be grounded and rooted in the word of God. You, don't, you can't run to your pastor for everything. Your pastor just cannot fix everything. Because your pastor got his own life to look after as well. Every soul in this world, in Tower World, I don't care if you're in Tokyo, I don't care if you're in Japan, Turkey, London, Brazil, Israel, Jerusalem. I, I mean, I don't care where you at. If you as a soul and you are made of the image of the Father, the likeness of the Father, you have to worship. You have to bring forth prayer. You have to be grounded and rooted in the word. Look at if you read the word in the beginning when the serpent beguiled Eve. Eve beguiled her husband, Adam. This is where the curse come from, the sinful nature of the, the flesh. Look how he grow rapidly through humanity, powering him up. When you read Revelation, now he a dragon. He, he went from a serpent to a dragon. That's a lot of power that humanity give someone that didn't even create us. Us. One turn away, here go another one giving them power. That one turn away, here go another one. We got to get on one accord with each other. Men are the stronger vessel. Men. The word speaks about men. Women are spoken about, but the things the father said about women is just it, it's just embarrassing. Harlots. Women laden with divers lust, silly. It's a silly. Silly. Using the body to draw in your prey. Using your good looks, your eyelashes, your makeup to draw in the prey. Using long weaved hair to draw in your prey. Gluing on hair, sewing in hair, braiding in hair. Putting on eyelashes. Lipstick. 
a whole bunch of jewelry, a whole bunch of tight clothes, a whole bunch of everything. This is what makes lust roar high. Lust is like one of the highest charts. If you ain't having it that way, you're looking on the internet. Masturbation, pornos, sites that draw in little, uh, little young girls and boys. Boys are now a target for predators. Being a target in the Catholic Church, been a target. Them pastors had to get castrated. And I used to look at these videos when I was a young child. I used to look at some serious stuff when I was a young. I used to walk these spiritual realms, didn't know it. And I used to always have questions, but I used to get shut out because of my questions. My research. You dumb, you stupid, you don't know what you're talking about, you're ignorant. This, these are the words I used to hear a lot from loved ones. But now that I can see, now guess what? They are, they are, they are around me. They, no one's around me because I call them out. See, what I knew in the past and what I went through in the past, now that I'm awakening and I have the authority, the permission, not the commandment. I, am, I did not make commandments. The Father give me permission to speak. I speak. And I speak truth. I'm not speaking nothing to kill you. I'm speaking to, to kill them demonic spirits that is attached to you. That has been planted in you. From childhood to adulthood. We all have. I was just one that reject anything that didn't feel good. Parentship, I didn't have one, but I, they came. They, the father let me live. He let me come on through. Rather, I was taken care or not. I forgive him. When my father, he's dead, so I forgive him. I didn't even know him, but I forgive him. My mother's still living. I forgive her. But guess what? Truth is truth. I barely know my siblings, but I know that they're my siblings. We knew we grew up a little bit together. My first husband, he died. He passed away seven years ago. It was abusive, but I forgave him. It's just what it was. I don't even call my second marriage a marriage because we didn't even stay married seven months. That was a whole gimmick. And he was already, he already had a, a living wife. I don't care how many times you get married. If they still got that first living wife, you got to break ship because you're in adultery with them. And our marriage was nothing but a game. It was just a whole game. Because it was over. When something is over, leave it over. My second marriage was a whole bunch of verbal abuse. And we stayed, we went together for five years. Then we ended up wanting to get married after all the damage was done because that's what a lot of people do you want to get married after damage is done because you want to cling on or have some type of soul tie with that person that you know is good or great a lot of people mess up a lot of things because you are stuck to a demonic spirit demonic spirits do not prosper they fail so if you going into something a relationship a workmanship any type of ship a business ship whatever if you still stuck with demonic spirits hold on to you and you still walking by sight and what I mean walking by your flesh, you're going to destroy everything you touch. Everything you accomplish is going to be destroyed. And that's just truth. I'm a living witness. I was a homeowner at 30 destroyed because it was too much darkness in the surroundings. Bringing up children, too much darkness in the surroundings. I wasn't grounded and rooted in the word of God and everything was going all chaotic. I can tell you some stories as a single woman taking care of her three kids. They grown now, so they belong to the father now. And look, they go give it to Jesus. I tell everybody quick, when they how I got problems, go give it to Jesus. He died for your problems. He can give you rest. 
Now, if they want to talk to me, I'm a great mother in support. But my kids live by themselves, each one separated. I live alone. I am not a mother that sit there and I got two sons. One is incarcerated and one up in the streets. And I got a daughter in the streets. But I pray on the daily and I let my children know there's a consequence to staying in sin. There's a consequence rolling with darkness. The wages of sin is what? Death. If my son or my daughter, anyone died by the sword, they live by it. Any of us die by the sword, we live by it. It is not Elohim fault. It's not Yahshua Hamashiach fault. You follow Satan, you die with Satan. Because he's already dead. He already know he did. He already know it's over for him. But it's not over for us if we're living. If we're living. As Jesus said, the blind lead the blind. You will fall in the ditch. Luke 6, chapter Luke 6. Why would I be with somebody that's just the same way as me? We both pull in the same way. We can't help each other because we don't want accord. That's why the father called us to go out here and help the uh, broken sheep in the midst of wolves. And I called Satan and his friends the wolves eating up the lost sheep. We all were lost sheep. Know the difference about the gospel. Stop allowing these leaders from taking the gospel and using it to manipulate you and to intimidate you. Read the word for yourself. Read it for yourself. Nobody has to turn the key to your home but you. Yes, it's good to be under a leadership that help you, guide you to follow Yahshua HaMashiach, to motivate you. But after a while, you should be able to be, you should be able to motivate yourself so you can power up and go out there and help somebody else. So the Father can give you that precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And he's not going to tell you to sin. He's not going to tell you to manipulate. He's not going to tell you to hurt others. He's not going to tell you to do anything against the commandments of the Most High. He's not going to tell you to do so. So when you between lukewarm, when you are a lukewarm person, you eat from the table of the Father and you eat from the table of Satan, you're a dangerous person. You're not trustworthy because you want to straddle both fences. You're not a trustworthy person. You are a wolf in sheep clothing. It's just, just that simple. You got to know your fruit. The word of God is truth. The word of God is living. This is the only book on this earth, the best prophecy ever that will tell each and every one of us about ourselves. What demon we attach to. What demon we need to be redeemed from. But see, Satan want to stop you from reading the word. Satan want to stop you from uh, proceeding to the light. Satan want to stop you from doing anything that the almighty father called you to do. Because you know why? He's already dead. He's just trying to pull you in so you can die too. Bad enough, he got us. He had the ones that, well, I once was dead in the world. Crying every day, broken hearted, cut all the way to the core. I mean, a lot of them left me for dead. But guess what? The father said, not that one. You won't hurt that one. I've been in some serious situations doing to my great heart. Doing an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. It wasn't getting me nowhere. But broken again. And I got chastised quick when I sinned. I was like, why I get chastised quick when I do something sinful? Because I was chosen. The father knew when it was time to call me. I didn't reject that call. I dropped everything. House, job, everything. He says, oh, you got to leave it all and follow me. This is what you want to do. I said, sure. You done showed me you really, you are really real living God upstairs. What else can I do? I can't deny and I can't turn away from what in, what I encountered. 
with the Holy Spirit is real and it's truth. The word is real and it's true. And yes, it's going to be very, very hard to discipline that flesh and kill that body. And what I mean, your body feeding your flesh all those dark, I mean those dark meals. Dark. When your body say, let's go find a man. You probably always did that. Kill it. When your body say, cuss that person out because you irritated what's going on in your home and you can't get it under wraps. You can't control it. Kill it. Read the word. Read it. Read it. Read it when you don't want to read it. Read it. Make it your everyday meal. Read it. You will be amazed what's in there. Don't be afraid. If Satan said the father don't love you, he love you with everything he got. He want the broken hearted. He want that sinner. Just because the world put a label on you, what does that mean? The world is going to go right with the prince of the world in the lake of fire if they don't come up out of the world. It's serious. Stop running to your best friends, your family members, tell them what's going on all in, in your house, talking about your children and all that. Get on your knees and tell Joshua Hamashiach about it. He want to hear it. He waiting for you. Pray. It ain't going to get better overnight because it wasn't overnight when it started. It's just that simple. It ain't no game. It ain't no joke to see loved ones die by the dark ones and they just laughing at us they just laughing at us the things that goes on with uh us humanity they just laughing at us but they won't win because it's an end to everything and we have to answer to the creator that is the beginning and the end satan can't win he's a dead spirit let him be dead. Stop powering him up. Get out the streets. Get your children out the streets. Get away from them negative uh, family members, them negative marriages. Get away. You can come up out of it. You ain't got to stay in nothing. That is going to take your peace, your joy, and your soul. Period. I love each and every one. I tell you, I pray for souls on a regular because I knew how it felt to be in a zone where you just don't know which way to go. You don't got nobody to cry to. You ain't got nobody to talk to. You don't lost everything in your life. You got children to feed. You got rent to pay. You need a car. You need all that. I've been through all that. You just crazy in the head. You just don't know which way to go. Don't know who to talk to. You irritated. You aggravated. You want to fight everything moving. You want to kill everything moving. But don't you ever think that the Most High and his son, Yahshua HaMashiach, ain't, where, ain't ready to power you up. They're ready for you to be ready. Be ready. We are warriors. We are conquerors. We are conquerors in Christ. We won't stop and we can't stop following Yahshua HaMashiach. If they talk in negative, let them talk. Who cares? Pray for that talk. Pray that they come out of their darkness. Because that's all it is. Satan is a mind game player. Give him back his games. And let his mind ramble for a little bit. I mean, I, and when I say a little bit for the rest of his life, because he got to go. Don't let him take you where he going. Period. Much love. Blessings.